Vlog Vember, day three. I accidentally uploaded day one early because I just direct upload from iMovie. So I was saving it and then usually I cancel and then upload the next day. Yeah, it was all, almost all, all that I did. <laughs> it was pretty much posted, so I just left it. I like how you can still see the little purple droplets because I just dyed my hair. <laughs> I'm going over it again because I bleached it again and so the pink is kind of showing and yeah, I'm gonna fix it up a bit. What should I do with these things over here? Let me show you. I rescued them from the barn over there from a life of rusting rottingness and I love them. We have a corn grinder. It weighs like half a ton it feels like. It's, it's nuts. They were wrapped in that plastic but it's since come off. Little squirrels took up residence in there, shucking some shells. So what do you think we should do? They're so gorgeous. Am I in focus? <clears throat> Lady Pegglesby is so wasted back here. Howdy! She's so drunk all the time. Pegglesby, you've got to go to rehab here. Come on, lady. Get it together. Get it together. They're watching. Come on. We need to get you. We're getting you help. Yeah, that dinner we're having tonight, it's an intervention. Last night, I had a moment because River Phoenix has a new movie coming out. What? I didn't turn my HEPA filter off. Oh well. River Phoenix... For those of you who may know, I have... I don't want to say connection because that implies a two-way street and he's been dead for 19 years, but I have this weird obsession, I guess you would say, with Joaquin <laughs> Freudian slip, with River Phoenix. I write letters to River Phoenix. I know. I don't send them anywhere, obviously, but I write them and I write characters based off of River Phoenix. I've written a whole story that is loosely based on said obsession. It takes me forever to watch his movies. I have to like force myself to watch them because every time I see him I get really emotional. I had a complete freak out when I first read about his death. I could go on. I, I, I literally I read it and I was in tears halfway through it and then I thought it was ridiculous and someone's upstairs. I'm trying to vlog. Think of what? I think of him kind of like a muse, for lack of a better word. I just am really inspired. I don't want to go on and on and on. I already have. I could go on. I should make a whole separate vlog about River Phoenix. That's what I should actually do. I have a shrine to my own private Idaho. It's weird. The movie is called Dark Blood and they made it in 1993 and it was unfinished at the time of his death. So he's the main character and they've now finished it and they call it a surprisingly coherent vision of a decidedly oddball story set in the Arizona desert. So it sounds very River Phoenix and I'm really excited and they say that it might not be released because the director does not own the rights anymore so he's trying to get it released but odds are it will only be played in a few festivals and then colleges and museums. Oh my god, if that happens I'm going to go on a mission to get it to play here, or wherever I am at the time. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. I may have pretended that he was still alive when I first read it. It just hurt my nose. Ow. Hello? Hello? It's your dead great 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 niece again. Maybe I'll do a room tour. Starting with this one over here. Oh my gosh, she's following me. I feel like my outfit today, I feel like a before photo on what not to wear. It's awesome. My voice is cutting out. Room tour! I did not clean up the room. I'm sorry if that offends you. <laughs> it really looks like this. Okay. I don't believe in making beds, only when I had a studio apartment because it was in the center of the room. So, you know, a little classy. Here I have my watchdog. My bottles of ginger and such. My little... I was informed this is not a Bible, it's a prayer book. It's my thermometer. Candle that I actually got in Michael's in Canada and it smells delicious. My baby shoes. 
an antique lantern. My dog with an Indian headdress, I made that. Creepy little girl. Signed Academy is poster. Siski Business did not sign it. Lady Pegglesby is drunk as ever. My Albert Einstein pillow. My signed spatula from Caters 17 and Crew. The knife from Tom. This is my favorite section here. Um, it's just my little shelf with some books, an antique shoe, more books, all my writing, little teapot, Christmas owl, my steampunk gun, my little creature that I made, my clock, another creepy little girl, little film strip that actually does have a movie on it, flowers, my phone, hubcappy, more books, salt and pepper shakers from hell, the bulletin board here that is filled with some keepsakes from viewers and some postcards, antique postcards. This is um, from a still camera I had in middle school. Above the unmade bed, I have some posters. This is from the steampunk ring. That middle ring there came from that company right there. This was from the Academy Is. It's signed on the back. It's an actual photo. 500 of them were given out, and it's from the About a Girl music video shoot. This is from The Butcher. It's a print. My Plan 9 from Outer Space poster. Lamp. Pandas, cupcakes, robot, though. These stickers have been up here since I was, like, nine. Here's my little shelving area. The picks are Newfound Glory, Bowling for Soup, and The Academy Is. My Doc Solid logo, I might actually be making that short here very soon, all depending on the lawyer that I'll know next week. Oh hey, you can kind of see my reflection in the hubcap. I splatter painted this right before a huge thunderstorm rolled through. I was outside when it started raining and I, it, it was scary. <laughs> hubcap, hubcap, my first hubcap. A lot of this you've seen in my, um, my Vancouver apartment tour. I just condensed the whole thing in here. And everything's really simple too, so I can move out. I'm hoping to move out of here within four to six months and move out of state in a year. That's that's my goal. I wanna go back out west. And I have a round trip ticket to anywhere in the United States and Canada. So I'm thinking of going out there and doing some preliminary research, probably California, maybe Seattle, maybe Vancouver, I don't know. So where should I travel? I really want to travel the American Southwest, but I don't have that much money and I just want to use up the free ticket because it's only good till August 2013. Where should I go? Where should I go? I'm thinking like San Fran, San Francisco, maybe San Diego. Oh my God. Oh, Comic-Con's too expensive. I don't know. What do you think? That in the back is my name. I got it from my friend Jessica. When she went on a cruise, I thought it was so cool. I just keep it around all the time. My little pen reminds me of Garcia, a little flower pen. Antique bank. It's fun. You've seen all this stuff before. It's just in a new location. And of course, the unkillable flower. There's nothing like hot tomato bisque soup on a cold rainy day. Ooh. Whoa, my soup. My soup done changed the color of the screen. That is odd. If I weren't on a diet, I'd have a grilled cheese with it. <laughs> Starbucks has peppermint mocha. Waiting in the line for the Starbucks. I just purchased my weight in pomegranates. <sighs> They're for sure my favorite fruit. They have officially replaced strawberries. Do aardvarks even make a sound?